a lot of people, but check with Dr. Google, you'll find the studies. Women in a long-term monogamous relationship tend to lose their libido, their sex drive, and it appears to have a psychological reason to drive the long-term sexual partner, usually the husband, absolutely crazy as to why you're not interested. And it actually keeps the husband fascinated with trying to get sex from you. Now, one of two things happen. Either the husband finds an affair, a mistress, and can't take it anymore and can frequently leave the marriage over that. But what's fascinating is, and I see this with a lot of my patients, let's suppose either the husband dies or the husband does go off and they get a divorce. The woman who supposedly has no sexual desire, no libido, then mates a new partner. And that woman universally, I've not seen it otherwise, becomes phenomenally interested in sex again. Her libido goes crazy, even though she's had no change in hormone status. So there's really good psychology behind all this. Now, how about hormonal replacement in females? So I do use hormone therapy in females, but it's not for often the reasons you think. There are about 5% of women who are very vascularly sensitive to the effects of estrogen. And those women, as they go into perimenopause and menopause, they notice a distinct difference in the way their thought processes work. And I was taught by an excellent gynecologist on our staff that a small dose of estrogen preferably topical. Please, folks, do not swallow an estrogen-containing substance. A small dose of estrogen will do dramatic changes in the way women feel. And I can see that very small dose of estrogen on their labs, but what's amazing is the women, without knowing their estrogen level, will automatically say, that was it, that's what's missing. And sometimes they'll actually forget the patch or change the patch and we'll see it on their labs, and they'll come in and say, something's not right, and I'll, I'll go, uh, what's with your patch? Oh, that's right, I, you know, I forgot it, or I ran out and I didn't refill it. So that's number one. Number two, there are a number of women who, as their progesterone levels drop, as they enter menopause, have a great deal of difficulty sleeping. Now, the nice thing about progesterone is that it is absorbable orally and it's easy to obtain from a compounding pharmacy and usually the dose of progesterone that works is about 100 milligrams a day. Now the third thing I'll mention about hormone replacement is my good friend and colleague Dale Bredesen who wrote The End of Alzheimer's and is probably I think one of the greatest neurologists in dementia there is told me a number of years ago now that one of the missing links is a, another hormone called pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is sometimes called the queen of all hormones, the master of all hormones, because when we're young, pregnenolone is made in our adrenal glands, and quite frankly, it's the precursor for estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, 